The CUDA.com Game of the Week back at Martin Tulai Field on the campus of St. Paul's where the visiting Fords from Haverford School come in. Head coach John Nostrant shaking hands with head coach Rick Bracato, two old Washington College guys. Absolutely love to see these two, two teams square off. Thanks for joining us here on CUDA.com. I'm Booker Corrigan bringing you the St. Paul's Crusaders in their home whites against the Fords. Facing off for Haverford, number 19, Drew Sapinski. And of course, for St. Paul's, it's Mike D'Amelia. And pre whistle violation against Amelia. That is one in the half. Keep track of those three in any given half against any team. Results in a 30 second man down. And here is with the ball. Gavin McBride, senior headed to Princeton as the Fords take the first possession here in the first quarter, brought to you by the Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club. Baltimore Crabs hosting that top prospect camp. Make sure you check that out. Fords Peter Blinn, number 11, is one of the keys to today's game. Other keys for Haverford is it's their first game. They got to work out some of those first game jitters. Driving to the cage, Timmy Brooks. Knocked to the turf there, but shot backed up by McBride. McBride guarded by number three, Bennett Moore. The junior defender for coach Rick Bracato. Such a nice job. He and Mitch Whiteley have run this St. Paul's program with tremendous honor to its prestigious level that it's attained. Brooks quickly down the wing, hitch move. Sapinski carries across the top, and now it's back in with Peter Blint. Blint shot, saved by, nice kick out save by Hunter Pearl. Riding attempt, we're gonna get a high hit foul against St. Paul's. And this man up is brought to you by RipNet. RipNet is the new free social media platform. If you want to be a better scorer, make sure you check out RipNet. It's a free goal scoring app available on your iPhone and Android. Use it to become a better goal scorer friend and follow other players, share your success with your peers, and stay connected with all things lacrosse. Check out rip.net. Haverford on the man up, illegal body check against number 18, Mike Mayer. Inside shot just wide. And back to the illegal body check by Mayer. Mike Mayer goes at about 6'6", six, 6'5". Six, six, so he is, he's got to get low if he wants to stay away from the head, but he is a tremendous defenseman for the Crusaders. Force a little sky whammy up top by Sapinski. Now they're back in their 3-3. McBride, the right wing. Blinn shot saved by Pearl. Beautiful Saturday midday faceoff. And now we're gonna get a foul against Haverford as clearing midfielder Connor Sheehan does a nice job drawing the push violation. And this man up also brought to you by RipNet. Mark Matthews says, you're behind the game without RipNet. Grant Catalino calls RipNet a game changer for shooters. Ned Crotty says it develops the mental side of scoring and Billy Bitter will tell you it quickly, show, quickly shows how to put more balls in the back of the net. Get it now for free on your iPhone or Android. Go to rip.net. 9.38 to go first quarter, 0-0 zero, zero score. St. Paul's home whites, Haverford in their road maroons. Yeah. 
man up for St. Paul's. And left side shot, nice save by Landman. Jake Landman, the very talented goaltender, senior leader on this team for Coach Nostrand. Mikey Wynn shot top center, saved by Landman. And now it's with Mike O'Malley. O'Malley looking to wheel it out against Carter Flagg. Gets the clear, penalty expires. Haverford getting their full complement of players onto the field. Timmy Brooks running midfield now with Phil Poqui. Poqui behind to McBride. Here's Pokwe, rolls back. Great shot of Gavin McBride playing the game with his head up. One of those great passers. Junior Peter Blinn. Number 11 for the Fords. A little shot fake by Brooks. Ball now behind with McBride. Looking inside, shot goal. Inside feed by McBride. And Riley Hupfelt, the senior, finishes it. Nifty little inside play right there. And with that, at the 7.30 mark, I've won the race to Nifty. This first quarter brought to you by the Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club. The Baltimore Crabs back again as a CUDA sponsor, solely to be involved with the great efforts of these athletes and coaches. CUDA.com bringing you great lacrosse action all spring long. Feed picked off cagey defensive play by Connor Keating. Keating, the lanky junior. And now it's Brendan Burke, another junior. Some youth on this team. Of course, Coach Nostrand has led this team to consecutive incredible seasons, including a national championship in 2011. Kerry Kynet exchanges up top with Drew Sapinski. Baltimore Crabs doing that great top prospect camp as well as their annual Crab Feast Lacrosse Tournament. Make sure you investigate the Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club to learn more. McBride behind the cage, inside feed to Hupfelt. Pinballs gathered by Hunter Pearl and it's gonna be St. Paul's ball to clear. ball on the turf and Poquie comes up with it momentarily and now it's Gavin McBride again just one of those players who plays the game with his head up and his feet moving Docs Aiken now number six in at midfield the freshman Poqui, Timmy Brooks, and Aiken round out the Ford midfield group. Poqui splits left to right shot. Fought off by Pearl in the cage. Track that well. 5.30 remaining first quarter. CUDA.com bringing you the game of the week. Thanks for joining us and making CUDA.com your source for tremendous high school action. Here's Dox Aiken. Runner hard left to right split. Pushes it behind to McBride. McBride now defended by Michael Mayer. Poqui loves that split dodge. Gavin McBride's going to restart it behind the cage. 
ball stripped away by Michael Mayer. Nice check by Mayer, the Georgetown bound defenseman here for St. Paul's. A little slow break for him in here for the Crusaders as they look to get on the board. Connor Sheehan settles things briefly. Carter Flagg possesses for the Crusaders. Flagg inside feed, Mikey wins shot, no dice. Liam Anderson with the backup for the Crusaders. Jack Pollard dodging right-handed. A little miscommunication on the flip, but no harm, no foul. And you see the versatility of Dox Aiken now, the freshman midfielder for Haverford, doing a nice job playing defense. Inside feed. And this is Luzon. Luzon gets it quickly to Flag. Flag lefty. Inside feed, Mikey wins shot, save Landon. Landon glances behind him, but the Fords come up with it, and now clearing it is Brendan Burke. Errant pass backed up by Timmy Brooks. Brooks just a bit outside. McBride driving again right-handed, and now we get a ward call. Not sure about that one. Referee David St. Hubbins seemed pretty certain about the call. Two forty-five left, first quarter. First quarter brought to you by the Baltimore Crabs. Make sure you investigate how you can participate in their top prospect lacrosse camp and get yourself on the map. B.J. Mathias carrying for the Crusaders. Mathias. Draws the foul, Landman comes up with the save, ball's in the net, and it's a goal. B.J. Mathias driving around right-handed. The disappearing ball trick. And somehow it ends up in the cage to tie it up one-to-one -one with two minutes and 13 seconds left, first quarter. And now facing off for Haverford, Jack Marshall, the freshman. His father, John Marshall, the Ox. One of the great lacrosse people in the Philadelphia area. Saw him before the game as well as Bob Birch, father of Roby Birch, another face-off guy for the Fords. Still waiting to hear from Enrique Arvada. A great goaltender from the Villanova days. I'm sure he is present and accounted for. McGovern exchanges up top with Witzler. And here's Mikey Wynn. Win staying with the two-hand power cradle right there. I like it. Pass inside McGovern. Shot save Landman. Not up in here. And we get an interference call. And that's going to give the Fords possession just outside the box. Landman gets it confidently to Peter Blint. Peter Blinn, obviously, younger brother of Kuda Sensation. Henry Blinn, swim move by Peter Blinn. Ball goes on the turf, picked up by Hupfeld. And we got live action. 
We got live action on the sideline. Get the bag, Neil. Get the bag. And now we get a loose ball push against the Crusaders. 40 seconds left, first quarter. Great to see some live action. McBride up top to Sapinski, the sophomore midfielder. Gavin McBride behind the cage. Peter a little ISO coming off Timmy Brooks. Nine seconds left in the quarter. McBride driving left-handed. Sapinski, right side shot, no good. 1.4 seconds remaining. Defenseman Travis Wood for St. Paul's. Tremendous athlete. And that'll do it for the first quarter. First quarter brought to you by the Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club. That crab feast that they run is one of the most distinguished tournaments in the Baltimore area. We're going to be back with talk about who's going to be the Under Armour underclassman elite star of the game. One-to-one -one your score. We'll be back with the second quarter right after this.